Hello, my name is Adam. I'm from the team at DevRite and I'm making this short video here today to show you how to record your presentation in the PowerPoint application on a MacBook Pro. To begin with, it's an important step is to go to your system preferences and make sure that your sound preferences are set such that the input or the microphone you have selected is the microphone that you'd like to use for your recording. Here I'm using the Scarlett 2i2 USB audio interface together with a Shure SMB7 microphone. Select the one that you intend and you can check to see if the input level is being received loud and clear. Secondly, we're also going to do a separate recording using the QuickTime Player application. This is important because PowerPoint is going to create breaks in your recording. It is not going to record the audio cleanly we need this separate recording of your voice. To do that, we click on File and do a new audio recording. In this drop down menu, verify again it's the correct microphone that is selected. Put the quality at maximum. And when you're ready, you can hit record. And we can check to see as these the time is going up, we know that the recording is taking place. I will then transfer onto the PowerPoint application. We can go to the Slideshow tab here and initiate the Slideshow recording. And at this point it is showing here my presenter view, but it is actually recording the Slideshow itself. But it enables me to go through and complete my entire presentation. Okay, And it's going to save the audio over the top of this, as well as saving the Slideshow itself as a movie file. So we'd get through, once we get to our last slide here, we're going to stop the presentation, we're going to end the slideshow. Okay, and now we need to export the movie files. To do that, we click File, and we do Export. Okay, In this window, it's important we choose the file format as being the MOV, or the movie file. Okay, And here we do Presentation Quality, and it's important we have this button tick that says use the recorded timings and narrations and that the quality is at least 1920 by 1080. Okay. We click export and now that is going to export the presentation as a movie file together with the narration. I'm also going to reopen the QuickTime application and stop the audio recording and I'm going to export or save this audio recording as well here. So in this part here, it's going to save this as an AIFC file. Okay. And now I can come in and check those two files. If we have a look, this here is the recording from the QuickTime application. So we can verify and make sure that that has actually gone well. We can also check the MOV file, which is this one here. And you can see this contains the slideshow itself, as well as the narrated voice. Okay. So with that, I'd like to thank you very much. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. The team at DevRite is here for you.